Hi. When we lead such busy lives, it's so easy to forget to look after ourselves. We rush around um, in this rat race of life and we just forget that we need nurturing as well as everybody else around us, especially if we look after others too. Um, maybe as a mom or you're looking after older parents or something like that. We can't run on empty. We don't uh, expect our car to run on an empty fuel tank. So why do we expect our bodies to do the same? If we do, we're going to either emotionally or physically break down. And that's not good for us at all. So what we need to do is to get those endorphins and the other chemicals that make us feel good up to scratch and working really well for us. So it's not just about um, feeling happy. How do we feel happy? I think it's more, some of it is about taking exercise. That's really important. And it doesn't have to be um, just on a treadmill or at the gym constantly. Doing something nice for yourself that you enjoy, whether it's a walk, swimming, it all counts. And it's really important to do it. So that's one part of it. The other part is actually building our self-confidence and making us feel better about ourselves. And that can so easily get neglected. So I would suggest that you think about those things that you've achieved in your life. Those things that have made a difference to you, that have made you the person you are. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be that you've got a degree at university. It could be something small but it big enough for you that you've made that achievement. For example, I passed my driving test the second time, a long time ago now, but I passed. And it's those kinds of things that can make us feel much better about ourselves. Maybe it's that you make a really great chocolate cake and the family love it. It doesn't matter what it is, it makes you feel good and you know that people really love it and it gives you a sense of achievement. So notice those things. And then I'd say do something really nice for yourself. Do something that makes you feel good and it could be that you just have a soak in the bath with candles all around you or maybe it's reading a nice book or just taking that time out to sit and do nothing. If that's what it takes and it feels good for you, that's all that is needed, but a little bit every single day. And finally, I would say to you, live for the moment. Don't look into the future. Don't ruminate about the past. That doesn't help anybody. Live for the moment. Enjoy the moment. Be in the present. Be mindful that every single day is a gift and we should treasure it that way. I hope these tips have helped you and if you want to learn more, then just give me a call or email me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye now.